Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I am gonna share with you how I'm gonna make snowman holiday candy favors using some Dollar Tree candies. I picked up a ton of candies from Dollar Tree to hand out to some coworkers. Um, so I wanted to kind of share with you my process because it's so super easy. So these are the snowman chocolate marshmallow snowman that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, I did pick up three packages. Each package has three of them, or I mean five of them, so 15 total. I'm using my new Winter Market Cartabella uh, stamp set, and this is what they look like once I stamped them on some die cut circles. And then I do have some scallop circles from one of my previous projects. Remember when we made those uh, cards using tags from Dollar Tree? Those were the leftover scallops. I have some twine. I have a regular size hole punch. I have some wet glue, which I'm using the Barely Art glue. Um, and then I also have a couple of sheets of the double-sided scrapbook paper. It is a uh, cardstock weight and it's from the, the North Pole collection by DCWV. I did pick this up at Joann's a while back. I believe they are out of stock. Um, these were so popular that they actually sold out and I don't know that they've restocked them. So good luck if you can find them. And then I'm gonna be using some clear adhesive plastic sleeves that I had purchased, I think previously like on AliExpress or somewhere, but you can actually use these sleeves that I got from Hobby Lobby, um, if you just cut them down and then tape them. Um, so these are just the treat bags that are in the like baking section. You can also use those. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down my paper to five inches from the bottom because I am gonna be inserting some paper into those little sleeves to, as a backing behind the candy. Uh, then I'm gonna cut the sections into two inch sections or cut down the paper into two inch sections. You will get six of them with each of these uh, strips of five inches. Uh, but I did notice for whatever reason, and it could be just the paper was a little off or maybe I cut them a little off that the last one of every set was just a little bit smaller. So I went ahead and just cut all all three strips and got to get my 15. Um, so basically what I'll do is I'll stick the piece of paper, which is two by five, into the sleeve and then add the candy in it. Um, and then we'll, we'll embellish it with a uh, tag that I'm making right here. So I'm gonna just glue down the, the stitched circles with the stamped uh, you know, sentiment on them onto the scallop circles that I had left over from my previous project. Um, and so I'm just adding, it just adds a little bit of extra color, makes it look a little prettier than just adding a regular sentiment. Um, and I really like the dark blue. So I went ahead and did, uh, I used up all of the dark blue scallop circles for this project. Super quick, super easy, real basic. I really liked this little sentiment. Um, it said snow days are the best days. It was really cute. And I thought it went, it went well with the snowmen. So these are all my sentiments that are done. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take out the candies from the package, which again, I bought three packs. Each pack has five candies in them. Uh, so I ended up with 15. I was just making 15 to take to work, to get to give to my coworkers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the candy into the sleeve. And I was trying to decide which paper to use, which which side of the paper. So this is double-sided, so you've got two options. You've got the snowman option, or you've got like the little snowflake winter option. I opted for the one without the snowman, the one that's more like a just a snowflake option. So that way it kind of uh, lets, lets it showcase the candy a little bit more. Um, but because it's double-sided, you can still see it on the back. So what we'll do is we'll end up punching a hole in it and then with twine, tie the tag to it. But before I do that, I'm gonna just go ahead and start to package up all of the candies and that way I can assembly line this, this, this project. So I'm just gonna package them all. Now, one thing that I did realize uh, is that you could add confetti or shred or some of those little fake snow that they sell at Dollar Tree. They have vase fillers that look like little little balls. Um, you can add a ton of different things inside of these just to give it a little bit of extra like decoration or pizzazz or whatever. Um, because I was handing them out to my coworkers, I did not want them to 
open these candies and have confetti everywhere or you know a little snow or whatever but you absolutely can um and it really really well at, kind of adds a little extra touch to it especially if you're going to be sending it in like happy mail or something like that um really really cute so basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and punch a hole at the top of each of my scallop circle sentiments, just like that. Um, so that way they're ready to go whenever we're gonna be tying these on. Again, this is just me assembly lining this process, but you can see how it's very, very simple. So then I'm gonna go ahead and cut my twine. That way I'm ready to go. And I do use a length that's around nine inches. You could use a little more. I probably wouldn't recommend less, at least not the way that I tied it um, because it, it left just a small little bow at the top and it's, it was like perfect. Um, and I am gonna end up using two different uh, colors of twine. I'm gonna use one of each color for each of these little favors. I'm gonna use a lighter blue and white and then a darker blue and white. So I got the two uh, colors and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually uh, put the twine on the tag just like if I was, or on the scallop circle, just like I would a tag. So just like that, I'm, I'm, I'm feeding through the two ends from the back to the front and then I'm gonna pull it through the loop um, and make almost like a tag but using these circles so again feed it through the back of the hole and then you know feed it over through the loop and I'm just gonna go ahead and tag them all up or, or get the ribbon on all of them the twine and again I find that doing this assembly line style just makes it go so much quicker than if you try to do all of these steps individually and then decorate one favor at a time. Now, if you were only making one or two favors, you obviously could you know, do these one at a time. Um, but because I'm making so many, I'm making 15 of them, I find that it's just so much easier to do everything assembly line. So I decide what I want to do and then I just do it all for all 15 and then move on to the next step and so on and so forth. But of course you could do it any which way that you, you, know, you wanna do it each his own as they say so here are all of my scallop circles that I've turned into basically tags so what I'm gonna do to, before I punch the hole I'm gonna shift the candy over to the left side so I can punch a hole in the top right using my standard hole punch then I'm gonna go ahead and tie the twine through that hole and then I'm gonna actually tie I'm gonna tie a knot first and then I'm gonna tie a bow after that just to secure it and just like that, that's our completed snowman candy favor. Now you could add a, a message on the back, you could add a from, you could add a to from on the tag on the back side of it. Um, you could add some additional little like snowflakes or embellishments, you could add some additional stickers. Um, and and I, I know I mentioned earlier, you could even add confetti inside of it. You've got so many little options. I'm making these just a little bit more basic, um, but I still think that I've kind of taken them to the next level than if I would have just passed out the candy by themselves. So again, push the candy to the left side, punch a hole on the right side, and then you go ahead and tie the tag uh, to the candy favor. And again, I tie a knot first and then I tie a bow. But you can do it any which way you want. You don't have to use twine, you could also use ribbon. I just find that the twine is a little bit easier to work with, um, especially since we're having to push it through multiple layers of like paper and plastic and you know the tag itself and you know so I feel like it just makes it a little easier. I did speed this process up and I sped up most of this video just so you get kind of get the idea um, of how it kind of works. I think my overall time was around 30 minutes from start to finish but that was including recording and things like that. Um, so it actually was a very very quick project. Um, I really like doing these types of projects um, and I am planning on doing a few more. So if this is the type of project that you want to see um, from me let me know uh, in the comments down below and I will you know share with you the additional little favors that I make for the remainder of this holiday season. Um, I will be passing out more things to my coworkers, so I just wanted to, um, you know, share with you and kind of show you how easy it can be to kind of just make enhance something. Um, so here are all the completed batch of the candy favors. Again, these were all snowmen. I did have some of those scallop circles still left over. Um, 
And I also did have a little bit of the paper left over. And again, this was the North Pole collection by DCWV that I purchased at Joann's. I don't think it's available anymore, but it, if you find it awesome, it's a really cute pad. And then this was the, the, the winter market collection to the stamps. Again, these are my final favors that I will be handing out. Um, and again, I got these the candy themselves from Dollar Tree and they have so many options so definitely check them out. Uh, thanks for visiting, hope you subscribe, like this video and follow me on Instagram. Thanks and happy holidays!